Hello everyone, it's Tau Empire again. We're just uh, going to be doing a online battle again today. I'm going to do something I never normally do, which is be the lizard men. So, fun times to be had, fun times to be had. I can't quite get these set up at the moment. I can't stand there. Where can I stand? Shall we, shall we go in from an angle? We'll go in from an angle. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use some pterodon riders, feral carnosaur, a couple of chameleon skinks, because they're irritating as shit. Um, a couple of temple guards and four units of Saurus warriors, and I have brought Lord Mazda Mundi on his living toilet seat. We call it a living toilet seat. I think a living toilet seat is a good idea. Look, he's just yeah, yeah, he's awesome. He's awesome. We we love Mazda Mundi. We love Mazda Mundi. I think, to be honest with you, considering how powerful this guy is in the law though that he doesn't really get a fair shout in in Total War. However, if he was as powerful in Total War as he was in the law, then it'd cost you about 10 grand just to put him on the field. So, we'll forgive it. We'll forgive it. It's fine. It's fine. But yes, I am joined today. My partner is Tyrius31. Hello, Tyrius31. We are... Well, he is the dwarfs. He's brought some quarrelers, hammerers, Iron breakers, got a lot of iron breakers, some more iron breakers, some more iron breakers, some thunderers, etc. etc. So he's, you know, he's 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 brought a decent army. Oh, there's some more hammers there. And who's he brought? Who's he brought? Ungrim Iron Fist. You can't fall off with a bit of Ungrim, Ungrim Iron Fist. There he is in all his glory. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay, then. So we have 15 seconds left on the counter. And we are going to go for it. And I'm going to be the lizard men. And I am going to win. That's what's going to happen here. Just in case anyone's in any doubt, then get that out of your heads right now. I'm already winning. Come on, let's do this. At some point. There we go. Right, little chameleon skinks, what are you going to do with yourselves today? Let's have a look. There's two high elf armies. It's just... It's just... It's unnecessary amount of violence going to happen from range. Oh, he's already got the organ gun on them, so I'm just going to stand here and let him organ gun them. If they're going to bring two high elf armies, then we're going to bring the organ guns, people. That's right. Is he pulling them forward? Is he actually moving forward? Or is, yeah, I think he's just trying to avoid the, the guns. Not that he's doing a good job at the moment, but... Have they been? Yeah, they've been chopped in half, those... Elven, uh, poor Elven sods. The other army is moving in from that side, though. Let's see if we can alert the attention of our Dwarven compadres. No, apparently this guy is just going to stand here and get shot while they try and manoeuvre over them. Well, that's uh, quite good for me, actually. So... Should we move these pterodons around here? Bring up the chameleon uh, skinks. Get them to hit the white lines. As I say, we do have... We do have the other high elves mooching in from this angle over here, though. So we don't want these... We don't want these becoming unchecked, as it were, do we? But just have to see what happens. Chameleon skinks getting hit hard. Yep, started opening fire on my pterodons, so... Pull these fellas back. Let's pull everything back there. Because things are starting to get a bit brutal. Whereas we could just let them take damage from that organ gun. I think that's going to be the best way forward. Just pull back. Pull back. The High Elves have taken a lot of damage so far. Let's have a look at the actual organ gun kills so far. Let's have a look. 
44 with that one 128 with that one so yeah let's let's not give away free kills here let's stay back for a moment and see what happens um i may actually go up here yes maybe yes i think i'm going to go up and keep these guys busy up here is what i'm going to do I will keep the Chameleon Skinks and the Pterodon Riders down this end for now. No, I don't know. I don't know what to do. No, you're not going that far up the side, is it? Yeah, they're, they're just coming, they're coming this way, so let's not give them any easy kills or easy targets. I do have the Banishment and the Ruination of Cities. Uh, I'm not close enough for that yet. Let's see if we can get in a bit closer. Look there, it does take seven seconds. Oh, lovely. Lovely shot. Let's pull him back. Let's get a banishment vortex on there, actually. Yes, Lord Master Mundy, yes. starting to take a lot of heavy missile damage so let's get in there and do some damage of our own hopefully they are starting to come in there so that's to attack my pterodon riders which I really don't want at the moment get my carnosaur to pull up hopefully get around the back with him get Mazda Mundi up and let's do this Gonna overcast this and try and get it onto their uh, Teclas. Teclas of all people. That's great. That's exactly what I bloody wanted, Teclas. Um, no, no this is too, doing too much with the range. Uh, the ranged, yeah. The ranged units. The ranged units. That's right. Oh God, let's help those guys out. Start getting some of these healed up, I think. Yeah, you. Let's see if this how well this works in Techless. They're still really coming at me hard, aren't they, with those? Right, now time to move these in, I think. And we are fighting now. We are ready. One, one. There is some spearmen getting round the back there. I did notice. Don't think I don't see you. Don't think I don't see you. Oh, some dragon princes have got in there. That's not good at all. That is not good at all. So let's get this Carnosaur in. Pterodon's over there. Tail up. Tail up and move out. 
getting hit too hard there with those um, ranged ranged units I'm afraid so uh. just hope my little dwarven buddies are doing better see if we can drop some bombs on these guys see what happens there it has started running a little bit slow a little bit of lag there I'm not sure quite why but never mind Some lovely work in there. Yep. Quite happy with that. Quite happy with that. Alright, get back. How are we hold? Oh, we are not holding. We are not holding. Another rune of city, ruination of cities laid down there. We'll just see how well that does in there. Grand scheme of things, let's try and heal up Mazda Mundi. Uh, I need to get my Feral Carnosaur out of there as well. Yeah, my Temple Guard are just basically screwed. There's not much I can do there. Okay, so let's... Right, we've pushed that, pushed that side back. Let's see if we can do some of these Dragon Princes some harm. Oh, my carnosaur's gone feral. No! No! Bad carnosaur. Bad carnosaur. Oh, that'd be a lovely banishment now if that goes off in time. It will probably nerf some of my temple guard, but at this point, some white lions and some sword masters are perfect. Yeah, that's. that's I don't know. I don't know if that didn't you good or not. Um, oh. Right. What else? What have we got left? What have we got left? What have we got left? Not a great deal, if we're going to be honest. More than I did have, though. More than. More than I should have, should I say? Just keep trying to heal up Master Mundy, I think. Yeah, so um, I'm not like versed with the lizard men. But should probably be doing slightly better than this. Dragon Princes are gone. I mean, that entire army's basically gone now. Uh, we need to start doing stuff to this army. Which I have, if you look actually, the Swordmasters are nearly down. These white lions are not going to last long. You know, they have actually done a fair amount of damage. So let's let's see what are you doing? What are you doing? Right, you go over there. You go and attack these swords masters. That'll be useful for me. You the same as the Mundi. If we get you over here, we get a heal on this carnosaur. I think. Yeah. Heal up that carnosaur a little bit. Let's go out, help out our dwarven allies who are actually doing the most at the moment, I would say. Right, those white lions are running. Let's see if we can get some fire down on Teclas. Take him down a bit. Oh, God, guys. Sorry about that. You'll have to excuse me there. I did a bit of a sneeze on there. Woo. Feels better, though. Oh. Oh, yeah. Feels good. They're, oh, they're shaking. They are starting to starting to break a bit. Oh, lovely. Look at that attack by the Carnosaur there. He's only got 16 kills, 718 so far. Lord Mazda Mundi on 193. So I think we're actually doing really well. And the balance of power would say that we've got this in the bag. 
Well, my army's very thin on the ground at the moment, so it's going to be mainly mainly the Dowie doing some work, I think. I think I'm just going to be mopping people up at this moment in time. Uh, yep, there we go. There's another one gone. Let's try and get these out the way. And they're gone as well. That's it! That's it, we did it! Brilliant work there, I think, actually, considering I don't use the lizard men much either. So we'll have a quick look at the... We'll have a quick look at the kill counts. Maybe. Yep. 206 kills for Lord Mazda Mundi. I'm going to start taking it back, what I said about him. Um, yeah, not bad work overall. They were just doing general amounts of kills. Uh, so look, there you go. That's where the work came in, if we're going to be honest. That cannon crew there did excellent work. Look at that organ gun. 389 kills. Brilliant. 278 kills there. And yeah, I, do, I just don't think they stood a chance really from the start. I mean... They didn't actually get that many kills overall either. I think it'll be mainly me who got killed, but I just had to hold them off while this uh, while Tyrius finished off the the elves on the other side. So thank you for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you very much.